The Army Upgrade Channel continues to give you a look at the most promising weapons from around the world. Today we take a look at the Next Generation Air Dominance Fighter Program competition. The promising NGAD combat aircraft is expected to be the direct successor to the US Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, a low-profile fifth-generation fighter, but will perform much more ambitious missions than its predecessor. As stated, at least one demonstration aircraft under the program has already been flying for several years, a program that has relied on advanced experimental development carried out since at least 2015. The NGAD platform will include features such as enhanced combat capabilities and the ability to survive, sustain, interact and adapt in an airborne environment, all in a highly contested operational environment. No one does this better than the US Air Force, but we will lose that advantage. If we don't move forward now, details on what the US Air Force's specific requirements are for this aircraft remain limited. Additional information on the technical and programmatic details of the NGAD platform are classified to protect operational and technological advantages. Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman and Boeing corporations are expected to be at the center of the upcoming competition. The U.S. Secretary of the Air Force has previously stated that he expects NGAD aircraft to be highly advanced platforms that will cost several hundred million dollars per unit. The broader NGAD initiative also includes programs aimed at developing advanced, highly autonomous drones, as well as new engines, weapons, electronic warfare systems, sensors, combat control networks and other systems. These aircraft are expected to replace F-22 fighters in the U.S. Air Force and take over their missions, including acting as low-profile quarterbacks to dominate major air operations in areas with strong opposition. The Air Force plans to procure about 200 NGAD aircraft, as well as at least 1,000 UAV, faithful wingmen, designated as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA. The original figure of 1,000 UAVs was based on an operational concept that two of them would operate in conjunction with each of the 200 NGAD aircraft, as well as with 300 low-observable F-35A Joint Strike Fighter aircraft. The CCA program is another part of NGAD. In the past, U.S. Air Force officials have said there is hope that NGAD combat aircraft will begin arriving in service before the end of the decade. This ambitious timetable also indicates that a significant amount of research and development work has already been done. In its fiscal year 2024 budget request, the U.S. Air Force is requesting $276 million for risk reduction work on the NGAD manned aircraft program. This is part of the $1.93 billion in total funding for the NGAD program that the U.S. Air Force hopes to receive in the next fiscal cycle. These funds do not include some elements of the broader NGAD initiative and the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion NGAP, Advanced Engine Program. Last year, the U.S. Air Force awarded five leading U.S. aerospace companies framework contracts worth $975 million each. To develop, on a competitive basis, advanced engines under the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion NGAP, program for the Advanced U.S. Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, fighter aircraft. The contracts were awarded to General Electric, Pratt & Whitney, in partnership with Raytheon Technologies, Boeing, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman. The contracts include the development, construction and testing of prototype engines and run through July 2032. Characteristically, three of the five contracted companies, Boeing, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman, are not engine manufacturers and, apparently, will have to provide their NGAP engine platform variants under the NGAD program. What's interesting is that the U.S. Navy has its own program to develop the so-called FAXX fighter aircraft, which looks like it will be greatly expanded next year. The NGAD manned platform is expected to be the centerpiece of the U.S. Air Force's prospective fleet of tactical fighters and will also interface with a family of long-range systems, the centerpiece of which is the advanced B-21 bomber. Now the U.S. Air Force has taken the next big step toward making the NGAD aircraft a reality. See the video about the five secret military aircraft being built in the U.S. at the end of the video at the link. See you on Army Upgrade.